What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury, Anthony Joshua, and Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Get this. Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury drops in on his latest tweet and say, I'd say at the Bronze Bomber would KO the bum inside three rounds. Who's the bum, you're wondering? Boom. Anthony Joshua. So he predicts Deontay Wilder versus Joshua will KO or will be KO'd by Deontay Wilder. Hmm. Um, I recently seen an article about these guys and what Tyson Fury predicted. Okay. He said something similar before. Um, let me find it for you. Here we go. Uh, Tyson Fury aims another dig at <clears throat> Anthony Joshua as he labels his heavyweight rival a bum and backs his former foe, foe Deontay Wilder inside three rounds. A KO. Of course, we know Anthony Joshua refused to step aside to let Tyson Fury fight with Usyk, which that's not true. Okay. So I want to state the facts. Let me counter that real quick with the fact that first off, he didn't refuse anything. He supposedly asked for more money besides the money that they offered him. And they don't, we don't really know what that was. We can't prove that that's 15 million pounds. And even if it was 15 million pounds, how about 20 million pounds? Because that's the same amount of money that he probably would have made for fighting Usyk. If he had to step aside, you have to understand he sacrificed his time, his effort, you know, uh, to step aside to let allow other people to fight. So they were still under negotiating uh, uh, circumstances. But Tyson Fury himself shut that down along with the idea of fighting Usyk as well. So both times Tyson Fury himself decided to shut this shit down. It wasn't Anthony Joshua refusing anything. So anyway, that's one. Uh, this would have been a fight for all of the belts in the heavyweight division. Okay, Fury accused Joshua of being too greedy in negotiations. We just covered that. And how now he's aimed another dig at Joshua by saying he feels Deontay Wilder will beat him. Okay, well, let's first off, let's let's say this, all right? Um, there we go. I think Deontay Wilder, because of that right hand, he's capable of knocking out anyone, just like Ernie Shavers, just like David Tua, just like George Foreman, just like Sonny Liston. A lot of these guys... Uh, for that matter, even Rocky Marciano, you know, those guys have the type of power that can hit you and change the whole fight around. They could lose or could be losing every single round until they land that one jackpot shot and bow changes the whole show. Well, Wilder has that. And we've seen Joshua and we, we've seen him hurt with shots that he never recovered from. Who's to say that couldn't be a Deontay Wilder shot? We're not, because it could. Okay, there's no doubt about it. Um, now, I will say this, though, because if you're going to tell it, tell it all. Wilder, unfortunately, has gained too much weight. So the right hand looks way unpredictable. I remember even in the second fight with Fury, he threw it over uh, the left shoulder of Fury, and Fury didn't even really see it coming nearly. And before he seen it coming, he went back with it, but he didn't know that he was going to throw that punch. So Wilder, with, Wilder was capable of throwing the right hand kind of undetected. That's what made him dangerous because he could disguise it. He could, he could disguise it just straight up the pipe. Normally, he likes to throw the jab in the right hand. Um, that's what made him so scary at times, like he did to uh, Luis Ortiz, because Luis Ortiz didn't see that right hand coming anywhere, and he hit him square down the middle okay and down went ortiz he couldn't beat the the count i mean he tried but he was knocked flat on his back okay um but since he's gained so much weight he looks predictable you've seen the last fight he was already fatigued in the fourth fifth round even when he dropped tyson fury he seemed tired why because he had too much weight on him okay and i think the hand speed of joshua will be more than wilder can deal with now, that's not to say 
Wilder won't land that right hand because hell, if he can land it with uh, with Fury, you know, after Fury didn't drop Wilder, why can't he land it on Joshua? Well, Joshua has good lateral movement and he has a lot of, he has good movement. It's just his size makes him look robotic because of his build. Okay. He has good combinations. He's a good inside fighter. That's something that Joshua would explore if he got on the inside of Wilder, but that fight would have to be fought at a distance if Wilder would stand a chance against Joshua, okay? And after all, this is Tyson Fury saying this. Yes, he's taking a dig at Joshua, but not only what he's doing, he's pumping himself up and making himself look a lot better by saying a fighter that he's already beaten would be the fighter that he's never fought, okay? So therefore, by default, that triangle shit, people try to sell off of, okay? Nobody can sell me with the triangle theory. The triangle theory that Joshua would get beat, uh, or, or Joshua, because like, let's say Joshua beat Usyk. So now everybody else supposed to beat Usyk too. It does not work that way. Okay, we've seen that so many different situations, so many times, so many different matchups where you just assume this is going to happen or this could happen because of these other previous fights. It has nothing to do with previous fights. When, I, when two men enter the ring, that's all that matters is the two men or are the two men. Sorry, Ma. <laughs> right? So um, him saying that, it's just a dig. It's just, you know, hey, he, he just wanted to call Anthony Joshua a bum, but he needed an angle and he used the guy that he fought three fucking times to do exactly that. Deontay, the bronze bomber, Wilder. But it would be a good fight to watch, and I'll say that. I would love to still see Joshua and Wilder if they lose their next two fights. I still want to see the fight, and it's still a high money fight. I think this shit should be in Vegas. I think Joshua should come back and fight Wilder over here. Why not Madison Square Garden? Let's go to the mecca of boxing. Hell with all that Saudi Arabia money. It won't be worth a shit if Joshua loses again anyway. They're just going to throw it on Usyk and whoever the winner of White and Fury is, right? So that's what it is. You know, there you go in a nutshell. Uh, but anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Tyson Fury believing that Deontay Wilder can knock out Anthony Joshua in three rounds. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.